weekend. I hope everyone's having a good weekend. Um, I have been having a really nice, relaxing day so far today. Um, and I've been using my new teapot. I tried filming about four videos with this, and I keep on messing it up. Um, uh, but I've actually had some tea in here already. Um, this is a cast iron teapot. I got it for Christmas. It's a really good present. It's really heavy, heavy duty. This one's big too. It fits about um, three cups. Um, which is great for me because I drink a lot of tea. Um, so I have been... Oh, did you hear the cow has just finished boiling? I've been steeping up some high quality oolong tea. Um, and I've had it twice now. Uh, you can see these leaves are not dry. They, um, I only had one teaspoon, or like one and a quarter teaspoon of these dried tea leaves and they expand so much in the water because of the way they're processed. Um, so I've steeped these twice. The first time I sat there and I actually counted 260, like for one minute, because I didn't want it to steep too long, um, and then poured it off, like took this out and drank that tea. Now when I put it back, I left it in there for a lot longer, just because I kind of forgot, probably about five minutes, and now I'm just going to put it in for a bit longer. There's still some some tea in here from both steeps, from the first and the second, because I didn't, um, I'm using a huge mug, like a latte mug. I know I should probably be using a nicer small tea but, um, teacup, but this is okay too. Okay, I'm going to grab the kettle and then also the tea bag so I can show you what it looked like loose. This tea, it smells so buttery, but it's straight, um, straight oolong tea. Kwangzu milk oolong. This, this ultra rare oolong from the, I cannot read backwards. Luyi Mountains of China is lovely smooth and lightly creamy with oh wow, I cannot read it anymore. with a subtle hint of orchid ingredients Chinese oolong tea from the Luyi Mountains. One and a half teaspoons per cup, steep, four to seven minutes, hot water. This is from a day's tea. I had a gift card um, for this. And this tea, it is quite expensive. So what I, did, I asked when I went in there um, for $5 worth, I was like, just fill it up on the scale until it's $5, that's all I need. Which only gave me 22 grams, um, which is only... You know, that could own maybe three more cups if I'm lucky. Um, so that's why this tea, though, like, it can be steeped several times without, like, totally losing its flavor. Um, because there's so many layers, like, in the process of this tea, they wilt it and roll it and so on and so on. So that the more you steep it, it continues to, like, I don't know what the word is, but blossom, I guess. And 
you get sort of different flavors, but it still tastes like tea. It's not water at the end. It's still really nice. And I can still smell it in... Oh, it's so good in here. Yeah, it's so good. Um, I love this teapot. It gets very, very hot. Uh, it came with this as well. I got this, which is a little stand, which this candle is empty now. I cannot light it, but you just put a little tea light in it. I'm going to light that in. And it, it's like a little stand for it. I'll put it on it for now. That's if you want to keep your tea warm if you're not drinking it all at once, but I'm going to be drinking most of this rather quickly, so I don't mind. So while that's steeping, um, I want to show you my Afghan that I'm making. That's been years. <laughs> I finally finished all my squares and finished, finished, finally finished um, tucking in all the loose edges from all the color changes. And now I'm just sewing it together. You can see this one's only part way attached. So I'm going to do a bit of this while we're waiting for the yarn here. Get some of that. I'm just do it in short pieces because if it's too long, I, it doesn't work. You have to kind of, I have to cut it after two sides of everything. Let's see if I can get you to see this a little bit better. So, I fold it sides together. I'm going to do along this edge because this needs to attach to this one here. I'm going to start it from here. Just flipping it around. So this is the, the line I'm working on, and I had already attached this one here, but it, the string, the way it went, it went up like this, I had to tie it off here. So that's loose. I'm going to start from here and sew this together, and then sew another one up this edge. So I like to line it up and stick my fingers through these holes so that it all I know it's lined up. I should move closer. I have to get off the couch and move this over a little bit more. And it's mostly, it's not like exact. It doesn't need to be super perfect. I like this part about knitting and crocheting because I am a I am a sewer and knitting and crocheting I like to do but I've never really done anything serious whereas I have done a lot of sewing so this is the sewing bit of it and I like it it's so satisfying to see it come together so fast all of a sudden it takes so long to make the rest of it So I'm just kind of going through, I'm whip, it's called a whip stitching, when you just go around and around, not in and out, back and forth, but just around one side and through, and then around the same side. And I've also held that tail of what I just had, and I've just incorporated it right in so I don't even have to sew it in later. A little tiny bit left. You can see, and I'm just going to snip off that the teeny little bit. Put it in my little scrap pile. And continue whip stitching this. I learned all about all of this crocheting stuff from tutorials online on YouTube, watching videos. There are some people out there with really who really know what they're doing. I am an amateur for sure, so I feel weird giving advice or teaching on something I don't really have the qualifications to do. 
Um, I think most of you know, though, I do have the qualifications to teach music, so that's why I have those music videos. I should, I should make another one of those soon. You guys like them. I was just like killing time on Reddit because it's, oh my god, it's so easy to do that. And, you know, everyone, suddenly everyone's an extrovert about everything. And I always have to step back and be like, you know what, people aren't asking advice and like, I'm not a professional at like, I don't know healthy eating or exercise or something. I really like it, and I, I like to give advice about that, but, sorry, I'm not a professional. But I am a professional at music. And so I always have to tell myself that, you know, you can't say things about stuff you don't know, really, without all your facts, when you do have something that you do know so well. Like everyone, I mean, everyone has hobbies. I love tea. And I like to talk about that. But, I don't know. I don't know if I'm, I'm not a professional. Maybe there are some tea professionals. I'm just going to grab the next square for this. Because I just finished that one. And this one, I want it to have some orange. Because these ones, I'm just kind of all, trying to alternate some colors. And here, that one looks like it'll go well. Flipping it around. And lining it up. The right sides together. Lining up all of the holes in it. In the corner. And here I go. Like many of you, before discovering the SMR community, I loved watching like Howcast and Howdini and all those. Kind of how to website. And for music, there's this hilarious, hilarious woman who claims she is a violist. And I can't tell if she made these videos trying to be funny or not. They're absolutely horrible and not relaxing at all. But so, so funny. I'll make a link to it because I think everyone should see. I'm not to make fun of her. Like, I don't know. I think she's just jack of all trades. Like, wants to be an actor and a musician and all the rest. And some of her advice is just really bad. But there are some things that I really have learned. A lot of my cooking, things like that I learned from YouTube, random people. Also, I've made the discovery that if you really need to learn how to do something, sometimes I don't know why this doesn't always occur to me, but just like asking my friends. Sometimes you ask on Facebook. You have some people who be like, oh, just like look it up on Google. That's what Google is for. I'm like, well, no. That's what friends are for. They're supposed to tell you what they know. So I learned a lot about cooking and all that from my friends. Cooking is something that I recently got more interested in. Well, in the last, like, Three years or so, I've been getting more into it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna like pull the thread back through a lot of the stitches I just made so that it hides the end before I snip it. Because if I just tied off the knot and clipped it, it would just it wouldn't look very good. I'm sure that end would find its way out, and then everything, the whole blanket would fall apart. Okay, 
so now I have an, another square, although it's just hanging off the edge. Let's do some tea. I'll just wear this. Can you imagine? That'd be so cool. Dress. Okay. My tea. My tea has a huge crack in it. My absolute favorite part of tea is pouring it and the sound that it makes. And I hope that you enjoy this as much as I enjoy doing it. Wow, this is the third steep of these tea leaves. And look at how dark that is. I can't really tilt it without pouring it all over my computer. But do you see? Mm, and it's, the first steep was actually much clearer than this because I only did it for 60 seconds, but it had a very buttery, buttery, buttery taste. This is more like tea tasty, not as buttery. Sorry, I have no depth perception, I guess. Um, I'm going to show you the tea itself. It's not really much. See them? It's so tiny and curled up. And this, these tea leaves are so huge when they unfurl. That's the word I was looking for, unfurl. Oops, I dropped one. Cannot use the single one. So those little leaves, maybe like double what I just had in my hand, makes them this huge. They're not even all the way uncurled, so I'm sure if I kept steeping it, they'd get more uncurled. Unfurled. Well, happy tea time to everybody. I hope you enjoyed this short little video. And I have a Facebook for Old Wonderful Sounds. You can search me, Old Wonderful Sounds. Or I'll just maybe put a link in the description box for that. And I'll do little updates and stuff like that or whatever. I don't know. It should be fun.